All right, welcome All right. to the Water Cube. Um, can you introduce yourself? Yes. I'm, I'm Michael Fields, and I am Director of Social Investment and Community Engagement at ITT, soon to be Xylem. Oh, okay. Yeah, great. That's the new name. So, uh, we were just talking about some interesting things that you're doing, and it seemed to all center around interesting partnerships yep. here. I mean, ITT is you know one of the private sector companies at the Stockholm World Water Week, but I think you have a little bit of a different relationship than yeah, some of uh, the others. We've been, uh, ITT has been a long-term sponsor of Stockholm um, Water Week. Um, so that's the primary reason that we're here because we believe in, in uh, their mission and we just like to continue to help push it, push it forward. Um, the goal would be to, to get more uh, private organizations to either be sponsors or to attend because um, we really think that the opportunity to develop partnerships and further relationships with some of the NGO communities uh, around the world, it's a, it's a very good environment to do that. So uh, we're kind of here as a model and, and hopefully people start. So what, what are some of those partnerships? I mean, you're supporting the Junior Water Prize. Yeah, we are. We're a sponsor of Stockholm Junior Water Prize, which is which is great. It's you know bringing together you know this year is 26 of the brightest minds from around the world, and our our goal and our hope is is that they expand it. So in three to five years, it's 54, um, because you know today's youth are tomorrow water, tomorrow's water engineers. So if we can continue to promote this in, in countries around the world, it's just going to get bigger and better. Um, you know, on the NGO side, you know, Mercy Corps is here, and I believe this is their first year that they've actually attended. Uh, we are um, involved with them on a disaster relief uh, uh, program, and we brought them in to kind of promote that, but also to bring in their people to see uh, what other organizations are doing. Um, they're one of the best disaster relief organizations around, um, but you know they have to sustain that. So by bringing their people in, it allows them to develop relationships, see what see what's going on, and also they get some get some training on the side. Okay, great. And there's also a video of some of the the finalists from last year yes. that you supported in Ghana, and that's available on on the Water Cube. TV as yes, well. yeah, we we took uh, the Dutch team from last year from Stockholm Junior Water Prize and the Ghanaian team, um, who were both winners in, in their countries, obviously to be able to come to Stockholm. Um, but we continued. We provided some some capital and some uh, mentoring uh, for those kids to continue their project throughout the year. Uh, so we sat them down, and they were very happy to continue it. And we gave them, you know, kind of project management experience, and uh, they put out an entire year project, and they came and delivered what they were supposed to deliver, which is basically where they were last year at this time, and where they were, um, you know, today, currently. Um, so very, very successful. Uh, the Dutch team actually went to Ghana, and uh, saw the situation and the environment that they were going to uh, one day put their product um, into the community and uh, it was a great cultural experience for them. I mean, whenever you can provide youth with, with different tools and different cultural experiences, it's, it's a win-win. Okay, thanks a lot, Mike. No problem, thank you.